That's right. And you know, the saddest part is that the victim, the, the fatal victim in last night's shooting was the girlfriend of the man who was being honored, killed himself in a car crash several years ago. It has been a violent weekend in Chicago this first weekend in June, which has so far left 42 people shot, nine of them fatally. Surveillance video shows the chaotic moments just after 1 a.m. when seven people were shot, one of them fatally, during a large gathering in Chicago's Austin neighborhood. Dozens are seen running away from the gunfire, taking shelter behind vehicles, among them a gunman dressed in jeans and a white top. He opens fire, then runs away towards Cicero Avenue. Police today saying the gathering started out as a celebration of life. Anniversary of a, a person that passed away four years ago in a traffic accident. So that they were out there celebrating and then something happened and a verbal altercation occurred and somebody began shooting or multiple people began shooting. This morning, detectives were back on the scene on the 4800 block of West Iowa, talking to neighbors, but also doing a secondary sweep of the area, which was so large and so crowded last night, it was impossible to process properly. Yvette McCollum describes what she came home to about an hour before the shooting. It was totally fine. They were just laughing, dancing, talking, you know, just having a good time. It was just fun. And I just wanted it broke up because it was so many. It was too many. It was at least 100 kids out here. So many that McCollum says she called 911, hoping police would come and disperse the crowd. You couldn't get down the block. You couldn't park anywhere. They were in the alley. They had the alleys blocked off. And I told them all this on the phone, told the police all of this. It could have been avoided. Killed in the shooting was a 25-year-old woman. Speaking to us off camera today, her family said last night's celebration of life was for her then boyfriend. Once police and emergency responders arrived on the scene, she was rushed to Mount Sinai Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. Police also telling us that four of the injured self-transported to Stroger Hospital. A fifth person, a 17-year-old girl who was shot in the leg, was taken to West Suburban Hospital. All of them expected to recover, but again, investigators still looking for the person or persons responsible for that shooting. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.